LiDAR is light detection and ranging. It's an unbiased measurement tool that gives you a complete picture of the world in a three-dimensional point cloud that's very spatially accurate. You can see the individual bees flying around. So that gives you a sense of how sensitive it is so you can see overhead transmission wires, tree canopy obviously, and you can calculate volumes and stem counts. Um, you can find fault lines, features of importance, so many different applications. With LiDAR data, my time in the woods is more, can be more effective and efficient because I have no surprises and I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm looking for. Can I get a road in there? Yes. Some of these turned out to have coho fry in them, so we've actually excluded them from the block. There's some really tall trees out there, so we're going to investigate them, we're going to measure them and see if they're going to be included in the Big Tree Registry. Now, the Big Tree Registry is a voluntary policy. We're good stewards of the forest, but we can do more than just that. And we are taking the initiative to start it before anyone else is really doing it. The red is a tree greater than 50 meters tall, and there's our big tree right there. Any tree that's above a certain diameter class, we're trying to retain either in as a leaf tree or excluded from harvest or included in a patch. And it's good, good influence for the forest to have big trees left behind as well. It starts a very in-depth conversation on how we manage our lands and what the best path forward is. And LiDAR enables those decisions to be made um, with, a, with a very high degree of precision. LiDAR is a great planning tool and trees are a renewable resource for now and for the future.